joy as a host here at QVC as I get ready to step into my 30th year is introducing you to inventors. I met this very special lady just a few weeks ago. It's her first time here at QVC. This is Kristen Lee. How are you? Yeah, Welcome. Thank you. Well, first of all, I have to love you because you love pets. I do. She's been in the in the pet product, especially pet toy design, mm -hmm. now for over a, a decade. For 12 years. This little toy right here, as simple and easy as it looks, will become mm -hmm. magic to your pet. Correct. It's exciting. This is all about giving your dog something to keep them driven something to motivate them. Boredom is the worst enemy for a cat or a dog. That's especially just very true. And a lot of us, we have jobs and we have yep. kids and we have all the responsibilities. And most of the time we end up leaving our pets at home alone. So I designed something that keeps them a little bit interactive. It's more playful for them. Um, I love how it wobbles. This thing doesn't mm -hmm. exactly fall. It's not quite a ball that's gonna you know, roll underneath the, the dresser or the couch. Mm -hmm. you, you fill it with little treats. Mm -hmm. If you've got a cat, this is really cool. There's actually a chamber here that you could put catnip into. Right, right, and that's a really good part because there's a little chamber, so you open up, it's a neck chamber right up here, yep. and all you have to do is just take a little bit of the catnips, sprinkles right inside of it, and what it does is it'll lock the catnips inside the toys. So and it doesn't make they, a mess. Not to make a mess, and when they bat it, uh -huh. around the aroma was circling inside the body right here and then that's where the cat would sense the catnips. Your pet, your dog, as well behaved and as beautiful as that dog is, still has uh, prehistoric ancestors mm -hmm. that always had to hunt for their food. Right. So this motivates them to get the snacks and it doesn't just dump treats, it randomly dispenses it. Dispense it, it out. And we can show this. Kel, we had a chance to play with these for the very first time this morning. <laughs> Now, the, <laughs> that's Singe on the left, and that's Raven that you see. I'm sorry, it's, it's, I'm backwards, my left. Uh, Raven is on your left, Singe is on the, the right, but it gives these treats out a little bit, and, and it keeps them happy. It keeps them excited. So once it, since the treats are inside, they start to keep on engaging with the toys. Now, the exciting okay. part of for this watch, toy is watch. that... <laughs> is that even for a dog, the great thing is even the secret chamber, like I said, on top right here, with even with the favorite treats, a so lot of dogs love bacon bits like this. Yes. As big as this bacon and everything, you break it to little pieces uh -huh. like this, and you put it right inside the chamber, right Into on the top. top. So it doesn't dispense, doesn't but the dispense. scent keeps them going. Now, mm -hmm. by the way, cats will tell you right away, uh, oftentimes with cats, for a day or so, they will ignore this. Right. Because cats are too cool to play. Right. Right? Yes. Until they start noticing it, their curiosity will drive them to mm -hmm. play. And so many of us have cats that are somewhat inactive. Yes. Keeping them motivated physically, mentally, mm -hmm. stimulates good health. Right. Cats are known to be outdoors. That's the thing. And yep. a lot of us, we love our cats, and so we tend to keep them indoors and everything. So we have to find something to get them more engaging and more active and everything. So keeping something, a toy that... They don't like to dispense out treats for them, but also have like, a, right. you know, instead of a catnip for them, for them to get their instinct praying for their stuff. So, yeah, so this is a really, it's durable, you know, it's when it comes in various of colors and everything. So dogs and cats love it. And by on my own experience, both dogs and cats, they right. play with the same toys. So. All the time. Yeah, all the time. Uh, now we've got colors and I, I struggle with colors. Can you help me? Oh, so this is the, the red one. Okay. So this is the red watermelon. This is the green lime, um, the banana yellow, and also the tilberry blue. Um, and you call it Doyen Pet. Doyen Pet. What does that mean? Doyen means first up leaders and okay. and our you know for us it's like for me it's like pets is always number one for me so yep. i want to design like a name that represents our pet that's beautiful itself, it, it is truly unique mm -hmm. uh we had a long conversation before there is nothing in the world that is considered an indestructible toy so mm -hmm. if you've got a dog that is like a toddler that can destroy anything yes. then keep your eye on it yes don't leave your dog or cat alone with it yes but Again, neither of my two dogs here, and these are my dogs. Mm -hmm. uh, my wife, Kelly, is a trainer. She knows the importance, the significance of using treats to train. Yes. And neither one of these dogs had seen this prior to coming on the air this morning, mm -hmm. and they love it. And I got to tell you, those two dogs are really picky about what toys they love. <laughs> now, did you see that? Yeah. Raven picked it up and gave it back to Mommy. <laughs> 
And they're curious now. They're very curious. And like I say, even for the dog, the chamber is the second chamber on top of the neck. You put like the favorite treats like bacon bits yep. or anything on the chamber inside the neck. You lock it in because one key thing is you don't want to overfeed your dog, especially uh, with treats. You don't want to do that. Yep. And so having so that this top chamber. Section, mm -hmm, and th this is completely right different. This top section yes. is something that most, and there are other dispensing toy right. treat right. type. But that is completely unique. Mm -hmm. That's where you put catnip. You can put like Again, the bacon bits right inside. You, you take little bacon bits or something like that. The scent will still drive them to play, but they can't get to it then. Right. And that way they're still motivated. Right. And then for them, like you said, mentioned earlier, you know, no toys indestructible. A right. dog would chew up anything they want to. The great thing is that dogs will not destroy toys that have food inside. That's the key thing. Oh. And so having the bacon bits inside the neck chamber, dispense the aroma in there, they would continue on thinking that there's treats in there so they would not destroy the toys. Kristen, I, it's brilliant. Uh, thank you for showing me thank something you. that both my dogs will play with. By the way, there's nothing cuter than watching a corgi play with a toy. That's right. <laughs> I love that. Thank you. You are welcome thank on my you. program anytime. Thank you for thank having Thank you. Me. Also, I'd like to thank my wife, Kelly, and Singe, and also, hi, hi Raven, <laughs> uh, helping us out today. It's always a good day when your dogs and your wife can come to work. Uh, At Home with Dan continues. We've got our today's special value coming up next.